Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody. Welcome back. We're the Transport Bandits. I'm Cheryl or Tennessee. I'm Jeff or Mr. Dimple. And this is the fun side of RV transport. It is. Because we just it delivered, um, a, I delivered a Class B van. We delivered two. Motorhome to uh, Sparks, Nevada. Jeff just dropped off his towaway unit to Carson City, which was just down the road. And now it's the fun side of RV transport. I'm completely free. I can do whatever I want as long as Cheryl approves. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's Anything. how it goes, right? right? Right now we're going to go get a steak. We're going to go get steak. Then we're going to go to the hot springs. Then we're going to hot springs. And then we're going to go to the bunny ranch. Not okay. go into the bunny ranch. All right. <laughs> I thought I could sneak that in. It is the fun side of RV transport after all. Uh, so, um, yeah, so we're going to stop in uh, Red's Steakhouse Saloon. What is this? Barbecue place? Uh, it's going to be an awesome steak place. And then we are going to the Carson City Hot Springs. And if we woke up this morning, it was snowing. There's a big blizzard, so there's no rush to get back into that blizzard right now, uh, just west of us. So, uh, but we kind of want to get into it. Yeah, we might. We might show you that. Later. That's the fun side of RV transport. Too, yeah, right? we might head. To, we might eat. All right. Go to the hot springs and then hit a blizzard. What yeah. do you say about that? What is? We're gonna have this delicious steak. Go get in hot springs. Get nice and clean. Stop by the Bunny Ranch. Head to the blizzard. <laughs> you thought he would slip that in, didn't he? The fun side of RV transport. <laughs> Okay, so let's go check out this Red's um, Steakhouse and Grill here in Carson City, Nevada. Subscribe. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, we're going to check out Red's 395 Grill here in Carson City, Nevada. Nevada? Nevada. How do you say it? Steak or barbecue? Steak or barbecue? I don't know. Oh, it's neat over in here. Awesome. Thank you. Look at this, Jeff. <laughs> Look at this place. This is neato. Here. Okay, Jeff, what are you doing? You're going to move your putts off the board. Oh, I have to move my putts off the board. All right, there's my putts. Okay. Oh, that's too hard. What's your name? I'm Krista. Krista has brought us this magnificent plate of meat and <laughs> potatoes here at Red's 395 Grill in Carson, Nevada. And then we are going to hit the hot springs. But look at this, all this neat stuff. There are horses on the ceiling for Pete's sake. <laughs> all right, what did you just ask Krista? <laughs> uh, what is What's is that? What is this, Krista? Tort tortilla shell with beans. Okay, I'll keep that. It's a tortilla <laughs> shell with beans. See if Jeff, if anything is surrounding green on Jeff's plate, it's he, gone. he has to ask, what it is, is that? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? I didn't know what it is. All right. All right. Thanks, Krista. You're welcome. Look at the wagon. There's a bomb on this wagon. A bomb? Oh my gosh, there is a bomb on the end of the wagon. And we have a big fire truck over there. Really
How was it? It was fantastic. Yeah, it was. Man, that was good. And uh, this guy kept a look over us too. All these guys kept looking over us. This was an awesome place to have lunch. I'm telling you, if you're here, you need to stop by Red's 395 Grill. Let's hit that hot springs. Okay, say that one more time. He said it was a good job finding that place, honey. <laughs> I never said that. Because <laughs> I find all the good places. I find all the neato places. I would never have complimented her in that way. No, I love to find the neato places. When the, after we drop the trailer, we got to explore and have yeah. fun. Now, they will eat some delicious food. We're going to go to the hot springs. Let's go to the hot springs right now. We're here at the hot springs. Awesome. Hey, we're here at the hot springs in Carson City. It's awesome. Take a check. Look, take a look at this. All right, Jeff, what do you think? Uh, I think this is the fun side of RV transport. That's what I think. It is. It is. This pool is so hot. It's cold outside, but the pool is really nice and hot. Yeah. We're outside in the water, and it's in the 30s. Cool. Yeah, but it feels good. This frog likes it. <laughs> the frog likes it. Life. Once you drop those campers, we've never been here to Carson City Hot Springs. Yep. This is awesome. It costs like what, $15 to come to the uh, the outdoor pool here. They have an indoor yeah. pool, but you don't need the indoor pool. It's like it's cold outside, but it's hot in the pool, so we're good right here. It is. We're good. This frog is really relaxed. He likes it. So, Look at this water. It's boiling hot. Boiling lobster pot. Really fun here. We're gonna um, head on I-80 next, head back towards Indiana to pick up another load. But um, you know, there's a big winter storm coming by. We just got our campers delivered uh, this morning, and um, we're going to get on I-80. We'll head east and make it maybe into Utah if we don't hit too big of a snowstorm. But once we get into Utah, we might go check out Crystal Hot Springs. Or we might just drive straight back to Indiana. And get another load. So we could be there tomorrow afternoon. We could be there tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> With the way Jeff drives. <laughs> uh, that's not happening though. And I'm going to show you some snow, hopefully in just a couple of hours after we get done soaking here. Stay tuned. We'll see you down the road. Transport Bandits. What are you doing? Subscribe. You tell them to subscribe. I did. Because if they don't subscribe, they're not going to see more miss out of us all this. in the hot springs right. and you're going to be out of luck. That's right. <laughs> all, right all right, guys. It's getting really steamy now and I'm going to drop this phone into the hot springs and then you won't have any more videos of ever for us to watch on the Transport Bandits. Remember, if you like the video, press the, the like button. Do that little bell thing so you got notifications. We're going to try and go live pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Yep. Goodbye. Bye. See you on the road.
I want to come back here and go to the Bonneville races. Yeah. That would be an awesome, fun site of RV transport. Can you imagine that? The Bonneville salt flat races. Us out on the salt flats with our truck and a camper. And Mr. Bose. Setting the world speed record for transporting. <laughs> yeah, the world, the world speed record for transporting. We may have already done that. <laughs> Maybe. So, yeah. No, we have it, Synergy. So our life is all lined up, isn't it, Charlie? We got several loads lined up now, right? Oh yeah, this morning we um, we are headed back to Goshen, depending on the weather. I, we're, we should be there in just a few days. And uh, so we've got a, load, a short load going up to Baraboo, Wisconsin. Then we're going to take a load to Cleveland, Georgia to visit with our friends for Christmas. Go see some Christmas lights and do some Christmassy bandity things. Yeah, and then, after New Year's. We're going to be home for Christmas and our anniversary. Back, and we're going to come back up here after New Year's. And on January 3rd, we're going to take a load to Gander, Newfoundland. Now, In I'm, the middle of winter. Picture that. Gander, Newfoundland in January. Wreck house winds. You've seen our Newfoundland videos. If you haven't, go back and watch those. It's an awesome trip. But, you uh, think they'll have the icebreakers out in front of the I'm hoping that they would. It would be an adventure. So um, we are going to do these one short load at the Baraboo, Wisconsin. It's only like 400 miles. Come back, get our load going to Cleveland, Georgia, where we have some great friends that we haven't seen in like a whole year. And so we're going to spend some Christmas Eve bandity times with them. And um, we're, coming. We're, we're coming for you. <laughs> And then we're going to spend some time at home for Christmas and our anniversary on New Year's Eve. It'll be 34 years this year. 60. It feels more like 68. Yeah, when we're together, we've been together 34 years, never leaving each other's side 24 7. We've worked together all that time. Uh, he's my right hand man. I'm his right hand. <laughs> I don't know what I am. All right. You're my boss. I'm your boss. Your secretary. Everything. Your life would just disintegrate like dust. But if without me, right? <laughs> anyway, it's really cold out here on the Bonneville Salt Flats area. We were going to drive out to the Bonneville Salt Flats, but it is so windy and so cold right now. Forget that. Forget that. <laughs> We're not, we're not that fun. <laughs> we'll we're back. not that fun, are we? <laughs> so, we're fun enough to go to Gander New Family in January. In January. Yeah. That's crazy. You um, know, I wasn't too sure about that load, but our um, dispatcher, Judy, you know, she kind of asked us. Well, she actually did ask us. Yeah, she said, would you be interested? We really need this load taken. And we said, yeah, of course we would. We're the bandits. We're the bandits. We'll take whatever you want us to take. So we'll get it there, won't we? We'll get it there. One way or another. Even if we have to lasso and rope a whale, put the put the camper on the back of a narwhal, and cut our way through <laughs> through uh, the uh, 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 through on. the bay. Hold on, I ain't messing with no narwhals. Narwhals? They, they're the whales that have like the big spiky horn. That's a real thing. Yeah, you know? why don't I mess with norwals? Yeah.
brother. Okay, so if you're a please subscribe to our channel right now before you um, leave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, take a look at these salt flats. We're going to get roll across this area of Bonneville, and then we will be near the Great Salt Lake of Utah today. We're trying an In-N-Out burger for the first time. Animal style. All right, let's do this. They want number one. one Animal style. Everything. Okay, so we are trying our first In-N-Out burger. We called, we called our friend Fairwind and uh, he had recommended that if we eat here we need to get it animal style. Everything. Fried, no animal. idea what that means. I have an animal. He needs it animal style. So, um, I will be eating like an animal. <laughs> hey, I don't know what this means. We'll, we'll show you what that looks like when that comes out. Okay, we got animal style. Let's try it. Okay, Jeff, what did you do? It was delicious. Animal style, delicious. It's not on the menu. Um, it's obviously an inside thing kind of thing. So in and out burger, animal style. It came with fries that have cheese and fried sauce and caramelized onion. And the burger had um, pickles, lettuce, tomatoes. Caramelized onion and fried sauce. Pretty awesome. It won't be our last time. Good morning. Um, it is the next day. We kept seeing um, road signs. That yeah, we've seen a lot of road signs. <laughs> no, I mean the you big flashy you, kind. You know, when you're on a road, they have signs beside the road. We see a lot of right there, one right now. Well, stop it. Okay, so we kept seeing, you know, the big electronic flashy road sign saying that um, I 80 is closed from the Utah uh, Wyoming border. And so we were like, if it's closed all across uh, Wyoming due to the big snowstorm that rolled through um, the day before yesterday, and it's still closed, we've got a lot of transporter friends on the other side of Wyoming that are stuck because the interstate is closed. So prayers out to them. So we got a hotel last night. And then we went uh, Christmas shopping. So we did some laundry because, you know, after a week of sleeping in the truck, we needed to refresh ourselves and get all nice and fresh and smelling good and washing the hair and the warm clothes. Yeah, that's all you fluff in your hair. I stuffed my hair. Is that your signal that you've refreshed yourself? I've refreshed myself, so we are fresh. Daisy. Look at that. Stuff yourself. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Well, we went Christmas shopping in Salt Lake City a little bit and um, found Mr. Bones what he's been looking for, which is a Christmas warthog. Take a look at Wally, the Christmas yeah, warthog. Yeah, he really wasn't looking for a Christmas warthog. He was looking for a reindeer. 
Yeah, he was looking for a reindeer. He's dead. He don't care. He don't care. He was pretty happy that he found a Christmas warthog. Yeah. And uh, he likes that pretty good. So say hello to Wally, the Christmas warthog. Mr. Bozeman's new best friend for Christmas. Bones has found his Christmas warthog. Merry Christmas, Mr. Bones. He wishes all of you a Merry Christmas, too. And his Christmas warthog, Wally Christmas warthog. Well, if Santa can have his reindeer, Mr. Bones can have his Christmas warthog. Fit, and I love them. And you know, it doesn't matter how mean you've been to your wife, shoes always fix it. They do. Good pair of shoes always fix everything. So thank you, Santa Dimples. You know, they've got that commercial out about diamonds. It says everything, right? Yeah. Diamonds forever. Like, like uh, Ron White says, why don't they just come out and say it? Diamonds. That'll shut her up. <laughs> <laughs> In my case, that doesn't work. So, it's got to be some chrome for a motorcycle or shoes or a skeleton. Yeah, chrome, shoes, or a skeleton. That works for me. So we are headed on I-80. We were going to drop, get up this morning, drop down to I-70 and go across Colorado to try to avoid the uh, I-80 road closure through Wyoming. But um, it looks like it's sunny outside. Maybe they've opened up a lot of it except for Elk Mountain. And we're hoping that by the time we get to Elk Mountain in yeah. Wyoming, uh, it'll be open. Otherwise, we'll have to try and find a way around. Otherwise, we do have a four wheel drive. Yeah, and we don't, we're not loaded. We don't have a camper. We're just going back to the Matter of fact, we have four wheel drive and chain. Yeah. I think we can make it across the house. Yeah. It'll closed look, door open. No, if it's closed, you can't go on it. <laughs> I heard that they were imposing a um, $3,500 fine or a something like that. It, it's an extremely large amount of money fine for any transporter trying to go past the road closure signs when they close the road only to light, high-profile vehicles yeah, and wind events. and stuff like that. Yeah, so heads up on that. Do not pass those signs. If it says it's, it's closed to light, high-profile vehicles, transporters, don't chance it. You're going to get stopped. You're going to get fined. Pull over. Find a different route. That's my advice for the day. Otherwise, we're going to keep rolling. It's gorgeous out here. The snow has made the canyons and the mountains of Utah and Wyoming absolutely stunning. Yeah, so it's we're, pretty nice. We're going to head this way and we're going to get as far as we can. I'm going to show you some scenery. We're going to get as close as we can to Elk Mountain. We'll let you know what happens by then. Possibly get over Elk Mountain. Yep. It's like Elk Mountain. It's not like the Rocky Mountain. It's not like this. 13,000. It's not like, I don't know, it's not like Mount Everest. No, I mean, it's not a extreme mountain. It is an extreme mountain for semis and transporters, though, in the fact that there is some type of weather, wind phenomenon that happens as you climb up that low, long, slow incline. And uh, the wind there can be so horrendous, it blows, uh, we just had a report of uh, it blowing over a 34,000 pound semi-truck last week. So that's no go. The wind blows so strong there that many campers and transporters get blown over there. So you have to really heat those warmers. Otherwise, let's take a look at this scenery. It's gorgeous outside. Merry Christmas. 
Yeah. Merry Christmas. Subscribe. Okay, so we've made it to Evanston, and it still says that I-80 is closed from Evanston to Laramie. That's from one end of Wyoming to another. And um, there's a, you can see a lot of the trucks are parked here. It's pretty full um, with truckers who could not roll any further. Um, so we are going to see what happens next. This is Evanston, Wyoming. Here are all the trucks that are parked along uh, I-80. And we have a closure. Now the lady inside the Evanston gas station told us that I-80 was open to Rock Springs. But I guess she was pulling your leg. Okay, so the um, traffic guy here on I-80 told us that uh, you can go to Rock Springs if you're a resident there or living there or just going there, I guess, but you cannot go to Rock Springs if you are traveling just east on I-80. Okay, so um, I-80 is closed. So we are headed back to Salt Lake City it was a big waste of time and fuel and uh, head down to I-70 like we had thought about doing last night. But it was worth the chance to take, I suppose. So let's head back down. We're going to take six to uh, Helper, Utah and then dip back down to Grand Junction today. <laughs> Big slide, uh, the big landslide, mudslide, 
river slide, whatever you want to call it. Uh, some construction work. The mountain came down a couple of months ago, last, the end of last summer. So they're still working on that. I'm oh, sorry. much video in after I-70 because we got to I-70 it was bumper to bumper traffic I mean it was an accident waiting to happen on I-70 in Colorado yeah so we concentrated on driving and being safe exactly so then we just decided to come on back to Goshen you know a half an hour after we went through on I-70 the Eisenhower Tunnel they closed. They closed, closed shut down again. So I-80 was closed. I-70 got closed down for safety concerns because it was so dangerous. People were doing like 60 miles an hour and then coming to a dead stop. Yep, and it so was they, bumper to bumper traffic. Yeah, so they closed it. And, and, and I-40 got shut. Yeah, so the three major art arteries were just shut down. Yeah, so all the, I've never seen all of the interstates, even I-94 was shut due to high wind. I-84 going up uh, Idaho got closed due to slick roads. It was crazy, like every interstate out west was closed there for a little while. Yeah. But anyway, we made it back to Goshen. And well, you know, I think the important thing here is that I've switched over to my winter hat switch to his winter hat. I still keep my regular hat. Yours is all season. Mine is an all season hat, all terrain hat, yeah. all world hat. That's a world map. That's so, this is my hatless. <laughs> but Jeff's hat, take a look at that beautiful felt hat. Look at that. Mm. You're looking good, looking spiffy. Mm. And, um, so Jeff switched over to his winter hat. And we'll be looking for a band though. I'm not thrilled with the band. Yeah. But anyway, we made it all the way back to Goshen. On the way back, um, we grabbed a load, uh, dispatched on a load to Wisconsin. Yeah, Baraboo, Wisconsin. Baraboo, Wisconsin, which Baraboo. we took yesterday. Baraboo. 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 Isn't That's that a fun, fun word? Fun word to say right there, Baraboo. <laughs> Baraboo. Oh, it's, it's a baraboo. Like, it's kind of like caribou, but a baraboo. <laughs> baraboo. Anyway, we we got back to Goshen late in the evening. We got up early in the morning and took the tollway load to Baraboo, Wisconsin, which was only 300 miles. So that was a short, quick five hours up there. We dropped it off right when they opened up mm -hmm. and got back to Goshen at uh, like like 3:30. 
we headed over to Dan's to renew our DOT inspection because that was just re uh, needed to be renewed and get a little mud flap work. Yeah, get a little repair work done. Because if you haven't torn off your mud flaps, then you, you ain't prob driving. probably ain't a transporter. <laughs> All transporters eventually tear up their mud flaps. Okay, so then we did a little bit of work there. And then last night, um, we came back to Goshen and stayed at the Amish Walmart. And this morning, we've got a load. I've got a, a grabbed a load of a drive-away Class B motorhome uh, going to um, Warrensville, Georgia. Jeff's got a towway going to Cleveland, Cleveland. Georgia. And then we're going to visit some friends, have some Christmas fun, yeah, do we some have bandity things. Yeah, we have great friends in Georgia that's basically family. Yeah, we're going to spend we some to time there. with them for, finally. We're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a good time. And, um, and then we are going to hit the road and be home for the holidays. So Merry Christmas to you. Thanks for watching Transport Bandits. Pick us up on the next load. Transport Bandits, out. out.